First time going handheld in quite some time here. Uh, here with Ronnie Davis III. You guys know him, big block at uh, Brewer on Friday, and of course, small block on Saturday at Fulton Speedway. Busy times coming up. Had a lot of requests for the tech tips, and I've done a lot of those uh, with Ronnie. And uh, they said, you know, Doug, come up with a couple of more. So <laughs> today we're going to teach you about Heim joints. First of all, Ronnie, how have we been doing? Uh, pretty good. How are you? Good, good, good. All right, so what are we looking at? We've got a couple of radius rods here, right? Yeah, so basically your front end is kind of slewed with radius rods and the Heim ends or rod ends. Uh, people use both those terms. Um, so basically they thread into the either end of your rod here and a bolt will go through the hind. You know, see here that they got a, a hole where you can bolt it to your brackets, which pretty much holds your front end to your chassis, you know. Um, and it allows this to be kind of a flex point, you know, um, as a car is traveling through suspension motion and, you know, whatever need be. Uh, so, as we said before, these are greasable. Um, these are kind of different. Not a lot of mm -hmm. people run them. But uh, for the most part, you can use something like WD-40 or fluid film. I know a lot of guys use, which works really good. Um, so, basically, just, you know, allows for the movement of, you know, I can't pick this up because it's got a shock on it. But. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, without that. Yeah, but so, to. it'll, you know, it allows the car to travel and do what it needs to do on the racetrack without um, binding up. Because if you just had, you know, bolted rate, this thing wouldn't move at all. So, That's right. Yeah, because the big thing yeah. here, like we talked about, is this. You could actually move yeah. that. Because we and, and when they talk about a bind, mm -hmm. that's what they're talking yeah. about, yeah. right? Yeah, these are what they're talking about. Um, especially, you know, in the rear end, there, there's one on the torque arm, you know, something like that. If they get dry, rusty, you know, mm -hmm. after washing, they, they can get rusty if you got real hard water. Um, and then lack of maintenance, they'll eventually, they'll bind right up like it is bolted mm -hmm. or welded. Right. You know, and it won't move at all. And that'll cause the car to be out to lunch just with, you know, with one heim, heim joint bad. He's got know? a couple of heim joints in his yeah. hand here, but they're different. They're made of different things, right? Yep. So this one's steel. Uh, this one's chromoly. Um, different prices um, and strengths. You know, I've had some of these come apart before. Uh, these ones tend to stay together a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, and actually on either end, so you're gonna have a right hand thread and a left hand thread. Oh, okay. Because if you had two of the same thread, you, you wouldn't be able loose. to adjust. Oh, I be, see. Yep. So and that's the other you, factor is that is also adjustability. We can bring that yeah. this way, we can bring it that way also. So yep. there, there's two things yeah, that we have yeah. that on there for. And so, that's just by, by, um, by moving this, just going like this with mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, yeah. So you loosen this jam nut here, loosen this jam nut here, um, and then this whole you'd be able to turn this and it would either lengthen or shorten your distance here. Very nice. Um, and I want to show you exactly, he's got one right here. So you can see how it moves there too. So you can see how that moves right there. That's what gives it the flex mm -hmm. that is needed. How many of these are on the car? Um, I'd say 20 something. <laughs> 20 something? <laughs> what do they go for? Um, it depends anywhere from 15 to, you know, 50, 60, depending on what you're looking for. Okay. And what will break will be the heim joint and not the radius rod, correct? Yeah, typically, I mean, they'll, a lot of times they'll either bend or um, it'll rip this housing off and you'd actually still have your ball here. I've had that happen. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess it just depends on what kind of wreck you get in there, really. There you go. So that's a thing right there, guys. Heim joints, one of the more important parts of the race car, and again, explains why they work and, uh, and uh, how valuable they are. And, you, and, again, and do we have to clean those, like if you wash them or something, right? Yeah, so usually you got to do WD-40, um, so it I like doesn't to, rust. I like to pressure wash them pretty good to get all you know all this grease off of them and whatever dirt you get after a race, and then it's good to spray them down you know right afterwards. Uh, but like with these, they're grease, so there's usually some some leftover grease in there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt to hit them right after you wash. Very good. Hope you guys learned something from this. We got another one we're gonna do right after this. Uh, we're gonna talk about Zeus buttons. Uh, if you've ever seen these on the racetrack, they are. Uh, Basically, another thing saves a lot of time and makes these cars very easy to take apart. Thanks, Ronnie.